the irony of this is the fact that this is my morning hair. Girls don't even stay. They go away. Or it doesn't even go wavy. So sad. But hey, good morning. That sounded so bad. But good morning. I say good morning or good evening or wherever you are, good night. <laughs> This is my first attempt at trying, I'm sorry because my hair is kind of like my little comfort blankie here. This is kind of my first time trying to do, I guess what you call like a vlog or something. Something like that. I am not too confident about it, but I know a lot of people are actually requesting it. I don't know why. <laughs> and I've been struggling so hard to find a, a topic to actually make a video on and I thought okay what is one thing that I like that I want you guys to know about and I figured hey guess what you have a tiny Funko Pop figure collection it's not like everyone else that has like over like 125 or 200 I commend people for doing that but I just thought I'd share them with you just just a few like I don't have that many I'm still collecting and just show them to you guys and say their stories and show you how they look. So let's get started. And I know what you're thinking, why don't you have them out of their boxes? The reason I don't have them out of their boxes is because of the fact that I know one day if I, if I have to like get rid of them, I know I can get rid of them confidently because they're still in their original boxes. Wow, original boxes. Anyways, I do take them out though to dust them every now and then, which I guess sounds weird. So first off, I got Bambi. Bambi was actually the first Funko Pop figure that I personally bought. Because at first I wasn't into Funko Pop figures, but then I, I went to Barnes & Noble, I saw it, and I thought this was the cutest little Funko Pop figure ever. Like it's so cute. Second one, I just noticed my hair just went back to normal. but. The second one is the one and only Albus Dumbledore. Whoops! I know you're thinking he looks a little bit different from the other Dumbledore Funko Pop figure. But this one actually calls out to me a little bit more because I actually like the pink colors and the little stars if you can kind of see them. I think it's cute. I love the detail that goes into these. I bought this one as well from Barnes & Noble. I actually buy most of them from Barnes & Noble. Not all my Funko Pop figures are from Barnes & Noble but I'll be explaining them a little bit later on. But yes, cutest ever. I should have had like a Harry Potter theme song for this. Like he comes in and I hear like, dun, 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 dun. Like it would have been perfect. <laughs> but yeah, that's Albus Dumbledore for you. Now, these next three, actually I bought them in like a big haul, also from Barnes & Noble. <laughs> Not all my Funko Pop figures are from Barnes & Noble. I actually buy most of them from Barnes & Noble. If you guys have seen old cartoons, I hope you guys are familiar with the Wacky Racers. I was definitely a fan of the little Wacky Racers growing up, watching them on Boomerang. So, Dick Dastardly and Muttley. <laughs> I honestly love the colors. I love the little, like the little detailing. I enjoy all of it. Like I love, like the color scheme is so on point. And then when you look at Muttley, like I love this little smile. Like look at that little smile. That's adorable. <laughs> it looks like his ears are like little wings. Just the greatest. I had to buy both of them. I just couldn't buy one without the other. Sidekicks together. Honestly, if you haven't seen the Wacky Racers, I definitely recommend it. It's a really great cartoon, especially growing up for me. If you guys are also familiar with another cartoon called Secret Squirrel, you do know that he has his own sidekick, which is Morocco Mole. That he was honestly my personal favorite. It was it honestly wasn't Secret Squirrel, I don't know why. But it was actually like Morocco Mole. Like he's I love this. Like I know you guys can't see it that well, but it's so cute. Look at this little hat. Look at that, it's so adorable. I like the detailing of these. I honestly don't like the, the Secret Squirrel Funko Pop figure that much. But Morocco Mole, my favorite. <laughs> now, if, oh baby, almost broke, almost broke that. 
Now, if you're somewhat familiar with um, Funko Pop figures that are a little bit bigger than others, this is actually one of my only like big Funko Pop figures. If you're not familiar with the film, the original, not the new one, here we go, it's Elliot from Pete's Dragon. Look how happy he is. Look at that little smile. I love it. Honestly, I got, I bought this one from Hot Topic, though the funny story is on that one. Elliot was at the highest, like the top shelf, and the employee had was a little scared to go up and get it, and I felt so bad. But, she, but hopefully like, I made sure she didn't fall or anything, and she actually got the, the Funko Pop figure for me, and I was so happy. Like I was screaming like a little girl on Christmas Day. Like, honestly, he's one of my biggest Funko Pop figures, and I love him so much. Just the colors and the hair. Even, like, the different coloration and the little spikes, too. It's, it's the greatest. Just, this is honestly one of my personal favorites, besides the big haul of the three other Funko Pop figures that you saw. But, yeah, this is Elliot Pete's Dragon. If you haven't seen the original, recommend that one, too. It's a really great movie, too. Now, if you guys aren't familiar with a, for a certain animal movie that came out, it is called The Secret Life of Pets. And basically, it was a movie about what your pets do when you're not around. In this case, my favorite character, and P.S. I'm a cat lady, so this is really obvious, it's Chloe. Look at the little stripes on the tail. The reason I liked Chloe was because I enjoyed her not, I wouldn't say her sarcasm too much, but I just love the colors, her facial expressions, the way that she actually really, the person's voice really embodied a cat and if, what a cat would say if it could actually talk. So yeah, Chloe. I love the little purple. I like how they put like the little eyebrows into detail as well. Like I just, I adore this so much. She's, oh, in a way she looks like, I want to say like, I want to say the cat bus from behind. She kind of reminds me of Totoro, just because of how the design is in the back. Like she's so squishy, so cute. And this was actually a, I actually bought this one at Toys R Us. I'm pretty sure it was a Toys R Us exclusive alongside Max and, and Gidget. I tried putting Chloe back in the box and the little plastic bubble tried to cut me. That's the struggle sometimes with Funko Pop figures. Once you take them out of the box, the struggle is having to put them back inside the little plastic and then put them back into the box and hopefully the box doesn't try to cut you. Like, these boxes are crazy. And now we near the end of this Funko Pop collection with my personal, personal, like extremely, I don't keep saying that they're all my personal favorites, but this one is just like, hands down, personal favorite of all time. Because it is my favorite Disney character. Because the other one's not really too much my favorite, but this one is my favorite. Originally, the story is that at first I complained so much about the fact that Funko Pop, they didn't make this certain Disney character. They made everyone else, but this certain one that is like my all-time favorite character. And these Funko Pop figures just came out and, and everything, and I squealed like a little piggy. I swear, I was all like, ee! And I had to like, I ran into that store, and I bought them. I saw it, I bought it. They get the glass, then you have the little Funko popping up and they're like screaming like a little girl. And I saw it from like a, like a distance. I was like, I need to go get that. If you're familiar with Winnie the Pooh, here is my favorite character, Eeyore. I know what you're thinking, Eeyore. Why is he your favorite? I don't know. We all choose our favorites in a weird way. But Eeyore is my, my favorite Disney character of all time. I even used to wear a sweater in high school that had Eeyore and I didn't care. Like Eeyore, this is my baby, this is my pride and joy, besides my cat. But look at that, look at him, he's so cute. Look at that, even his little tail and the little nail. Fun fact, he is actually made, he actually has sand stuffed in him. It's not cotton like everyone else, it's sand. Like it's sand or sawdust, something like that. But look at that. Look at this. Oh, I treasure this so much. I will never get rid of this. And also too, so we to show like the end. You know how there's little Kanga and little Roo. Look at little Roo. Look how happy look at those little cheeks. Oh, look how squishy you look. Oh, you're so cute. 
Look at that, and his little tail. He looks like a mouse, but this is little Roo. He's a little baby kangaroo. But yes, I am ecstatic. I was so happy I saw them in the window. I like if, if I had footage of me screaming like a little piggy, you would die laughing and I would show you. And that is my Funko Pop figure collection. I hope you enjoyed it just as much as I did because unboxing them and then reboxing them is like the best feeling in the world, especially when I get to hold them because they're so cute. But yes, <laughs> but I want you guys to let me know what Funko Pop do you think is your favorite. I also want to know if you guys own any Funko Pop figures. Which ones do you own? What makes them special? Where'd you buy them? What do you like about them? I'm always up for like wanting to know what you guys like too. And also, this is my first time doing this, so if you did enjoy it, please let me know. And also, to feel free to leave me any feedback or any commentary of maybe future videos that you guys would want me to do or that you want to see me do. That's not the, that's sort of the same thing. Forget I ever mentioned that. Scratch that. I may do more of these if I don't run out of ideas first. If you enjoy saving Yoshis and you like being a positive impact on your community, join my Yoshi Guild and we'll see you guys in the next video. <laughs> Bye.